Hey, what's up guys? Bigger in here coming at you from the bedroom from the LG V20 camera, the one that uses 60 frames per second but only goes 720 if you're going to film in 60. Look what I got. <clears throat> yeah, I had to black out some of it because that's that's information. Uh, as you can see right there, what is that up there? That says Fifine, right? Now those of you who understand you know, um, who know the cheap microphone market, you know, Five Fine is a microphone company. Now I need to get this box open, is the thing. So, I have a coast knife, an old one. Let me just get this right open. Uh, let's do a bit of cutting on the tape. Okay, now I got it. I'm gonna have to censor a bit of that. I don't know if any of that's important. But yeah, here it is. So yeah, as you can see here, it's, it's uh, social medias. Let me autofocus that. Yeah, if you wanna follow them, they're pretty cool. They make these microphones. It's the company. Here's the user manual here. It's the K670 that I got. Here's a foam padding for the top. Let me autofocus again. It's actually a really nice foam. I mean, it's usual foam that you usually get packed with. Let me move the camera. Or well, that's as far as the camera can go, so let me move this. As you can see, there's a USB, uh, I don't know what type that is, but then it goes to a type A, type C? No, it's not a type C, it's a type A, right? And I think that's a B. Here's a thread right here. Threading for maybe a mount. And then here is the, uh, I'd say maybe four inch mount. That's like four inches, right? Maybe that's five, I don't know. What does it say in the manual? Let me read the manual. Hmm. Yeah, so it's a type A to type B. So that little end that I was confused about is a type B. And the usual one you get is a type A. Yeah, so it's like 4.65 inches. And then you can go to, oh wow, metal. You could go down to 1.45, I think it said. It said something along the lines of 1.45 for just one. But I'm gonna keep it all the way up because I'm gonna be using this to film my uh, gaming videos from here on. Because the microphone I am using, uh, was this one? Uh, came in this box. I'm using it right now to film the video. I'll put a picture of it up and I'll also put a picture of the Fifine. This one was 20 bucks. It came in this packing right here. This foam came with a uh, extra, it came with three extra washers or not washers, those little rubber bands in case the mounts uh, ripped. But so far they've been holding up for the, well, when did I start filming on my PC? Go back and find my first Dark RP video. That's when I had it. Oh, wow. That actually feels weighty. Uh, here's the microphone. As you can see here, it has a volume knob, but it isn't volume, I think. I think from the videos I've watched, it said that it's a gain knob. So it doesn't actually control volume, it just controls the gain. So for now, I'm going to keep it all the way down because it's not plugged in. Here's a mount, a little mount thing. It feels nice, actually. It's like It feels like it's thick plastic, and then you can unscrew this. Ugh, let me get it out. Yeah, and then you can take this off and I think you could just mount it to like a, a shot, like one of those shock mounts or something. I know that Five Fine sells their own mount. They sell like a $75 package for a boom arm mount. But this one I bought right here was just the, the $57 package for the black, uh, the black microphone. And yeah, as you can see here, it has this little thing right here. So you could screw this in. And so you can mount it to the, I'm guessing this is it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's heavy. I'm a strong man. I have some, I have definite musculature on my body, but this right here, this has to be a good two, three pounds. It's not that heavy, but you know, compared to the rest of it, it's heavy. It's like I said, good two, three pounds and it slides on. It's like, it goes on really easy. And then they can 
let me move the microphone a bit back and then let me zoom up a bit or not zoom up yeah as you can see wow that's some length uh that'll be good enough for where i'm putting it i'm just putting it in fact i might have to lower it down one for what i'm going to use it for and then as you can see it like just moves around easily so right here is what this is for you can use this to tighten it so now you can tighten it which i'm going to tighten it as tight as i can that's good it has a rubber texturing on the bottom so it doesn't slip on uh you know surfaces as easy i should put this down this thing's gonna fucking tip over if i leave it so yeah as you can see this whole thing is packed in foam so <laughs> yeah so the microphone i'm using right now i already showed a, p a picture of it it was a three um it uses a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack to uh plug into things so this whole time i've just been plugging into the back of my pc and now i have this usb one so i'm going to be using this one from now on and i've actually heard a lot of audio from it it's it's basically just like a slightly cheaper ver it, you know uh, everyone tells you when you're becoming a YouTuber, hey, or the people who give you like the tips and trick videos, they always say to, hold on, plug this in, they always say to get a blue Yeti or a blue snowball, get something blue, but no, you should in reality probably just get this because it's cheaper and it sounds just as good as those. So let me actually screw this in tight because the bottom plate, I didn't screw in tight. So yeah, there we go. No, it doesn't spin around as easy. And also, this cord right here is six, uh, six and a half feet. So it can definitely reach the way I'm going to get it. Because I'm going to loop it around my monitor, plug it into the back of my PC, and then just have it sitting right in front of my face. Because, like, um, it's a condenser microphone. So the, uh, the audio, you speak directly into the front. You guys may not see it on the camera. But I can see it. It's transparent. And there is a receiver end that uh, has like you know receiver ends it's like got the holes in it so you talk directly into it and it captures the audio and I don't know if it's made out of like a I don't know it feels weird it's like um I know it's, it feels like it's a definite type of metal but it feels like a weird type of metal like something a bit because it doesn't feel like steel and more feels like a cheaper type of metal I don't know what a cheap type of metal would be aluminum no that would just break like it would crush maybe it's aluminum like a high-grade aluminum or something yeah the gain knob it's got the it's got branding on the front I got the uh, black one because the the silver one cost 59 and I was like okay I might as well save my mom like three dollars or two dollars while I pay the full price for the 60 I'm just oh yeah and back here there's a headphone jack for um what is it called for like barely any I think the one video I watched where the guy measured the delay it was like 0.5 uh, millisecond delay so you know there's a slight delay so you could basically plug your headphone jack uh, pl like plug in your headset or headphones to the back of it and then you can listen to yourself play back in the audio so and yeah this washer right here I'm guessing this is a thread for like a mount yeah, that's got to be a thread for a mount. So let me just put this back in a bag and uh, put it back. Yeah, that one went right there. So yeah, as you can guys see, I got this one. And let me grab my other microphone that I'm using. It's this uh, 3.5 millimeter. I have showed you guys the picture of it. It was like inexpensive. It's Now it's $29 because I've been seeing uh, recently since, you know, people are buying a lot of... Um, oh, wow. <laughs> I forgot about this. So yeah, this is omnidirectional. As you guys can see, my voice might be getting quieter. There's an on-off switch on it. It comes with a, um, I guess, I would, uh, what would it be called? It, I know it's a pop filter, but it's like something, it's a certain type of pop filter. It's like a wind cover, you know, mic screen or something. And then there's another pop filter. It's made out of two uh, layers of, uh, two layers of, what is it called? Hmm nylon that's what it is it's nylon so yeah 
uh, I've been noticing when I first bought it, it was only $20 exactly. It was $20 and a couple cents. So I paid my mom 22 for it. Uh, when I checked again, as you guys can see in the screenshot that I'm probably going to put back up, it's $30 now because, you know, people are buying a lot of uh, stuff to, you know, because they're bored at home right now. So a lot of people are buying stuff to um, make YouTube channels or stream because, you know, everyone's inside. This right here, I've been seeing a lot of reviews back in the days, like back in 2018, 2019. They called it a $40 microphone, but now it's 60, so I don't know. I've been seeing a lot of stuff go back, uh, go up in price recently, like uh, back before the uh, quarantine started, I was able to find a uh, webcam because I wanted to use a webcam for my channel, but I'm probably not. I'm just gonna, you guys don't need to see my face to enjoy the content which from my recent video I've been I've noticed that the only way that I get uh, views really quickly is if I piss someone off and post a video showing that they're the they're the asshole in the situation and also dude no I didn't post the any edited or not the whole clip that was the whole clip dude in fact I have extra video of you in a sit with me um, just being an asshole to the admin and rapidly just showing that you are committing NITRP. So don't be like, just chill out, dude. We get it. You're sad and you live in Britain. That is a sad life. That is a really sad life living in Europe. So yeah, this is the microphone. In fact, uh, as you guys can tell, the audio that I'm recording right now is from this $20, was 20, but now it's 30 dollar microphone I forget it says on the side ROHS and it says it's condenser microphone made in China most stuff is made in China nowadays so if I see something that says made in China I don't really think oh that's got to be low low uh, quality I, I usually think oh most things are made in China your blue Yeti or your XLR microphones that are like high top quality are made in China so you know it doesn't really scare me that something says made in China in fact, the, the microphone, like the, the box it came in, I actually like it. It's like a, a nice cardboard box. And as you guys can see, it it isn't like they just used a template uh, fabric stuff. They, they, or not fabric, they used a template like, what is this, styrofoam? It is not a styrofoam. It's like a type of, it is a type of styrofoam, but it's like a polystyrene. I don't know what it's called. Um, as you can see, everything's cut out certainly for it. You know, this is where the microphone went. This is where the cords, or no, yeah, this is where the microphone and cords, this is where all the um, like wind filter stuff was laid down in. And this was for the sh uh, mount, I guess, would be tripod thing. So yeah, this is the audio you guys get. And as you can see from my videos that I've recorded from OBS, OBS isn't the best. It actually gets your audio file and it crams it down a little bit because I'm using mp4 to download I'm not using mkv because mkv is a hog so you know it kind of compresses your audio so you guys can hear this this is what it sounds like when you're recording with a camera I'm probably gonna put in an audio clip of it recording with just the audio recording but if you want that just go to my minecraft series that's what it sounds like when I'm just recording pure audio recording so I'm probably gonna start recording this right here on OBS, I'm going to record like a test recording on OBS and then I'm going to record one with uh, some normal type of um, just audio thing. I don't know what I would use, like Audacity or something. Or do you some. But yeah, I'll get right back to you. I'll record stuff with this and I'll just record an audio clip with uh, this. So I'll be right back and I'll be at the PC. Okay, so this is the um, $20 microphone or was $20, now it's $30. Uh, as you can tell, this is what it sounds like when I'm just recording on an audio app. I'm using the LG V20's HD audio recorder. So this is the quality you get if you're just planning to do commentaries or voiceovers. Uh, I don't know what it sounds like. I'm going to listen to it back. I'll put up text to say if it's good or not, but you know, this is what it is. Okay, so this is what the Fifine K670 sounds like in OBS. It sounds pretty good. You can actually hear what I sound like. I've recorded it before just to see what it sounded like. This is what it sounds like when I click with the mouse. It's not too bad when I'm typing. It's not too bad. So yeah, um, if you guys like this microphone, I, I'll link it in the description, maybe a link to it. And you know, it's, it's actually pretty good. I have it 
finally fixed. I <laughs> messed around with OBS a little bit to see what uh, what was wrong with the audio because it had a little bit of a reverb where it played the audio like back twice. I didn't like that. Anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I'll go on to the Audacity next. Okay, guys, so this is what the Five Fine K670 sounds like when I'm recording in Audacity. I just downloaded Audacity, did not change anything. So, yeah, this is it. Um... Maybe it doesn't sound as good as what the professionals make it sound like. I have no idea what they do to it. But yeah, this is what the Fifi and K670 sounds like in Audacity without any editing. If you guys like it, it's only $60 right now. It's actually the microphone I'm going to be using here from here on. I'm going to give my other microphone to my friend. Uh, so yeah, it's probably going to have an image in the background. It's probably going to be dumb. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next one maybe if this is the last audio clip I'm going to put in. Oh shit. <laughs>